In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a new site in Dreamweaver and connect to your server so that you can upload your files for this class. So Dreamweaver, if this is the first time you've ever been in it and the first time you're ever working with it, will offer you several ways to do the same thing. So on the site menu, you can choose new site or manage sites or you can get to the same option, Manage Sites, through the Site drop-down in the Files panel. And once you're in the Manage Site dialog, you look around and you see a new site button. And you get to name your site. Now, for a lot of this class, I'm going to tell you that you don't need to use uh, special characters or capitals, but this is an exception because this is just a site name. So I'm going to put in spaces, special characters, whatever, web design one. It doesn't matter here. I'm going to choose a local site folder. Your local site folder is the location of all the files for this class that you're working on. So I'm going to scroll down until I find my websites. And this is just on my machine. And I'm going to create a new folder called Web Design 1. And drill down into it. And I will select that folder. That now becomes my local site folder. And it is also known as my local site root. It is the folder where all my files will reside. The next thing I want to do is click on the servers category and find the little plus add new server and again this is just a name for you here's the idea a server name why do we need a server name I mean we're only going to be working with one server right well potentially if you're working in industry you may have a testing server another testing server a production server a personal server you could have a number of servers that you're working with within a site this particular server, I'm going to call it Jordiculous because that's where my site is. It's Jordiculous. Or we could call it Web Design 1. It doesn't matter. And again, it's just a name. We're going to connect using FTP. FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol. It Dreamweaver has an FTP uh, software installed in it, embedded within it, that allows you to connect to your website. And it is on port 21, and that's fine. So we leave that alone. You're going to want to go to jordiculous.com. Your username, I will have sent this to you in an email. And for test purposes and demonstration, I'm going to use NL Students and then the password that I gave you. And the next thing we do is test. Okay, so this is obviously not successful. So I'd have to go back and look and see why that is. If you have problems, NL students, just type your username and password again. And test. In this case, my FTP account may not be set up yet, but that's okay. Yours should work. If it doesn't, I need to talk to you. Here's your root directory. We can leave this blank for now. Now, what I need you to know is that your web URL will be my address here, http colon slash slash jordiculous.com. And then your student name that I emailed you. So it will look something like that. We can save. And another thing that I like to do is check this box that says that this is a testing server. What this will do for you is that when you preview your web pages, Dreamweaver will upload your web page to the server and open the live page. So you'll be looking at the real page, not just something that's local on your machine. And this is how we set up a site for use in Dreamweaver. We save, and we're done. 